That 73 inch reach for Berhamov. He's very good in the stand up, moves well, has fast hands. Herman Toronto is going to have to use that 69 inch reach inside that full move. It's been a long time since we've seen Herman Toronto in the cage. Let's go to Michael C. Williams for the official introductions. Great to be back here in Southern California. No better place for Bellator 300. As we get set now for the prelims, a contract weight fight at 180 pounds, set for three five minute rounds. We introduce first the blue corner at five foot nine, weighing in 178.2 pounds, making his return to the Bellator cage. He brings 15 professional records, five losses, one draw, presenting Herman the Titan. Carado. His opponent across the cage out of the red corner at six foot, weighing in 178.4 pounds. As a professional, he brings 14 victories, just one defeat. Introducing Muhammad Birhamma. And the referee in charge of the action, Blake Grimes. Mohamed Birhamov looking to bounce back from a knockout of the year candidate loss against Lorenz Larkin, one of the nastiest elbow strikes you'll ever see. Toronto looking to snap a two-fight right, losing streak in his first fight, fight in over five years. He represents San Diego, California, born in Guam, and here we go. Three rounds at a contract weight of 180 pounds, and Birhamov looking to test the waters first. Baramov stand up, like I said, he's very technically good, throws straight shots down the middle, and so you're gonna have to see Toronto slipping those shots and coming inside to land his. Baramov 14 and one with one no contest against Lorenz Larkin in their first meeting. Larkin emphatically won the rematch. He has eight first round finishes for Tenado. He is 15, five and one with 12 first round finishes. But again, looking to Work out those uh, professional cobwebs. Five years before coming back here tonight at Bellator 300. In fact, Herman Toronto goes back to the strike force days, John. Yes, he does. You, I refereed it there, and you called his fights there, so. And he did oh. fight in Bellator, has the draw against Justin Baseman. That was back in April of 2014. He's 0 1 and 1 in the Bellator MMA cage. And I know, John, you reacted to that body kick from Biram. That was a heavy shot. Oh, even, there's even, the, even though uh, you saw Toronto. The knee stomped by Biramov. You saw Toronto get that arm up. It's that shot will make that arm come out slower now. That is a heavy, heavy kick by Biramov. Yeah, just below, like it was like an oblique kick, but attacking the knee. And of course, those low line side kicks. And there's a jumping left knee strike that Biramov teeing off on Toronto, who needs to get away from the fence. Yeah, he needs to get himself off of the fence. It's limiting his range. Berhamov is starting to really start to feel up and down. You see those knees coming. Beautiful. Check up there. He sees that Toronto is starting to dip his head down when he's throwing, and that's why he's bringing the knees up high. Berhamov working out of Kill Cliff FC in Florida under noted striking coach Henry Hooft. Greg Jones, of course, also helping out there. Toronto moving forward. He is at Gamebred Training Center with Barrett Yoshida and Nestor Flores. Biramov putting the pressure on Toronto against the fence, using the jab as a range finder from southpaw position. There, working move, four punch combination by Biramov. Toronto built like a fire pro. Oh, he's, he's built, he's put together, but it's all of this nice, and look at how he's just walking him down, using the jab. Bahramov right now has Toronto confused in what's going to come. That's never a good position to be in when you got your back against the cage like he does. Bahramov blasted him with the jab, blasting with the front push kick to the uh, midsection. There's another lead right hook. The check hook by Bahramov has been there throughout the fight, and he is just beginning to pick apart Toronto, dictate the terms, and using range as well. Good defense, new upper body movement, just out of range. 
And Every Chris Cyborg, who will defend her featherweight title against Kat Zingano, getting ready for action and uh, already showing her gratitude for the support here in San Diego as she will defend against Alpha Katzingano, a fight that has been talked about for years, and Katzingano coming to Bellator MMA and earning the right to challenge for the championship again. She's been a title challenger in the past in the UFC, but now facing Cyborg in a grudge match as part of our all title fight main card for Bellator 300 coming up 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific on Showtime. Baharimov doing a beautiful job up and down to the body, to the head, oh, beautiful the jab. jab. And you see, Toronto is trying, he's doing everything he can. He's, he's got that Guam gumption. He does. He's, he's got, you know what, he's got no give in him. But man, he, he's just eating shot after shot. It's going to start breaking him down. He's got to do something to stop this nice roll by Baharimov. Baharimov has been living in Miami for the past month, sharpening his striking skills. And that is quite evident here in the first five minutes of this contract weight bout against Herman Terado. Side kick to the midsection and obviously no real ill effects from that hellacious knockout loss to Lorenz Larkin. No, but like anything, Bahramov has to be careful because it only takes one shot. And that was the first time he had been stopped. Ah, absolutely. Oh, and looking to stop Toronto with that high kick. And really, Bahramov finding the range, finding the rhythm, utilizing that lead right hand from southpaw stance, goes downstairs to the lead leg. Good opening five minutes for Mohamed Bahramov. It appears Biramov's already found his flow state while Toronto's a big wound up ball of tension. All that muscle, all that oxygen that it takes to fuel those muscles and Toronto exploding out of the corner. But you can tell he's been out of the cage for five years. Yeah, but in his corner is telling him man, you've, got, you've got to step inside and throw your, throw your shots. Obviously, he's got to change this up because what, he's doing he was, what he was doing in that first round was not working. So go out there and try to step forward, see if you can change the rhythm of the fight. He is coming forward more, but it, it is Biermov still landing. There's a counter left right by Biramov, and you look at the total strikes landed, John, and uh, doubling up in terms of the connect total is Biramov, no surprise. No, I think Baramov actually landed more than that. He's, he has been very accurate with the shots. There's that beautiful oblique kick. Body kick by Torado. Nice, nice attack. And cap kick. Double jab by Biramov. So Torado definitely more aggressive and yet forced to retreat by Biramov's pressure. Smart pressure. Beautiful combination by Biramov. Two clean shots right on target. He's keeping Tenorado frozen in front of him, landing the combinations. Biramov with two knockout victories. Last one came against Brett Cooper, but that was way back in 2017, John. That's a while ago. <laughs> but he looks like he's wanting to find the, the key to the KO here, mixing it up, even an elbow strike there, looking for the knee. So Biramov really uh, giving us a buffet of his striking. But all of these shots are starting oh. to go, oh, that was a heavy. He had blocked, but he absorbed it, and his, his head absolutely got rattled by that kick. And you're seeing, look, look how you see Toronto just now starting to shell up. As Bahamov comes into him, he's starting to just shell up and not look for the counter so much. He's trying to do this explosive you know, exchange once he starts decides to go, but Bahamov sees it coming and is just moving out of range. And Bahamov as well, you would talk about Toronto being out of the cage for five years. There was a period of time where Bahamov was out for four years with a lot of injuries, which of course would question everything. And yet look at him here now bouncing back from his first a knockout loss and putting together a, an exquisite striking display against Toronto. Well, you, you said it perfectly. This is just beautiful. Jabs, hooks to the body, kicks up high, everything. He's using the full range. And we talk about, don't just headhunt, go after him to the body. That's going to make his hands want to come down. And he's doing all of that. You know body kick from Toronto. 
you can't take anything away from Toronto, man. He, he's he's trying to figure out. 34 why years this. of age, fighting a 29-year-old. You're right. He's still trying to find a way to solve the puzzle. No quit in the native of Guam, but he is pinned against the fence. Now moving to his left, and yet Biramov has the game plan. Good placement of his strikes diversifying his attack but really finding on there it is there's a clear illustration of what miramov has been able to do all night and that check right hook has been money exactly you looked at the three punch combination followed up by a knee up high i mean right now he's in a flow. and the body he's shot with good. the lead left This is what you know when we talk about this is a volume attack this is we talk about volume. yeah he's thrown over he's at 112 strikes thrown now by beer mom like, John. no that's great you know this is what like the diaz brothers does they just overwhelm you with so many shots body attack oh, look at that brother we've seen uh, everything in his his hand and elbow and knee arsenal i mean he really is giving us a smorgasbord of strikes here against the the top Herman Terado and Terado backed up to the fence again and he is absorbing all kinds of shots not all of them of course what I also like by here up there it is spinning back his clock changing the tempo and the speed on his strike absolutely yeah, that's the whole thing the rhythm of the fight he's in co complete control of it he's deciding when the engagements come he comes in and out Terado is now you're seeing Terado instead of even looking for a counter he's just shelling up and then he'll try to explode out of there but he's not going to land those shots against someone as good as Birkenhoff in that. Wow, clubbing him with the right, and Birkenhoff having his way here with Herman Toronto, a dominant second round. Coming to the close as he knees Smart. and Toronto puts his hand down on the canvas. His son, his motivation, his wife's smile. He doesn't want those smiles to go away, and he has five minutes now to come up with a winning formula in his Return to action after five right, years away. Go. Mohammed Biramov looking to ready. bounce back from his first ready. knockout loss. Has looked tremendous thus far. And uh, here we go. Final round. His contract weight of 180 pounds. One of the things I tell fighters all the time, though, you talk about his wife's smile. She's going to smile no matter what he does because she's <laughs> proud of him. And hey, you want, everybody wants to win. Only one guy can. You're right about that. There's that lead right hook behind the guard by Biramov. Body kick by Toronto. Oh, that was a nice clean kick to the body. Mm -hmm. And the total punch has landed. An avalanche for Biramov. And when you're landing at 46%, and even better, when you're landing 53% of your total strikes, that's a, that's a clinic, John. It's a clinic. That means that you are just rolling. That was a nice right hand that landed. Yeah, here Toronto with some tenacity looking for the takedown on Biramov. And the crowd here in San Diego cheering on their fan favorite. Man, San Diego, so many gyms, really a mecca of martial arts in so many ways and well represented here tonight, both on the prelims and the main card. Well, absolutely, you take a look at you know, all these fighters coming out of the San Diego area, and they, it's been that way forever. Dom Cruz coming out of San Diego. Mr. Wonderful Phil Davis out of San Diego. Oh, nice left hook to the body by Toronto, but you're right. There's great lineage here, and I mean, one of the great cities in America for a variety of reasons when it comes to its scenics and, hey, the sunshine, and of course, combat sports. This building has played host to many memorable moments, including Muhammad Ali versus Ken Norton, one of their three fights as Biramov going to the body, going upstairs, systematically dismantling Herman Tadato with just over three minutes left in the fight. And yet Tadato remains determined. Came back with that big left hook, but again, throwing big winging shots, which take time to get there. And Toronto just took a big gulp of air as he ate that knee from Biramov. Well, Toronto has proven that he's, he was in shape coming in here because he has taken a ton of shots. And there's a massive takedown by Biramov as he tried to bounce Toronto off the canvas. Toronto working from his back. Began training BJJ at 13. 
last six submissions. And his his attitude is he'd rather lose by knockout than win by decision. That's the Herman Toronto way. <laughs> That's what he told us. Well. And he's not giving up here, John, although, again, Birmov from top position. Watch the back of the head, top man. Birmov doing a nice job, just continuing his attack. Nothing big, nothing super heavy, but every now and then he tries to explode. Toronto just trying to tie those arms up, slow down his attack. See that beautiful knee shield inside. Here a mob posturing up. Knee shield being employed, as you mentioned, John by Tedado. A minute and a half left in this contract weight fight at 180 pounds. Mohammed Biramov. And Herman Tedado, and they are back to their feet. So a, a Moral victory for Torado gets a chance to uncork something game changing for the game bred trained fighter. Final 60 seconds of the fight. Big deep breaths. Herman Toronto. Muscles take a lot of oxygen. Muscles take a lot of oxygen. And so when does you, when you get punched for your body's offense. <laughs> exactly. All those shots add up. I'll give him credit. He has proven that he was in shape and ready for this fight. He just wasn't able to stop the technical game. On the ground. Half minute left. Irmov content to touch up Tenado. You gotta admit, it was a beautiful performance well, by Birmov coming off numbers, of his only loss. Numbers bear that out, John. When you look at strikes, 122 of 204 for Birmov, 28 of 120 for Herman Tarado. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going here. Three judges at cage side for the decision. Brian Miner, Derek Cleary, Felicia O. I'll have it ex exactly the same 30 to 27. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision. Muhammad Bin Hall.